Our bodies work like machines with many different pieces working together to ensure everything runs smoothly. Insulin and glucagon are two of these pieces. These hormones help balance glucose or blood sugar in our bodies. Glucose gives us energy and comes from the food we eat. When we consume food, our bodies break down the food into many parts, including glucose. The glucose then moves through our bloodstream, but too much or too little glucose can cause problems. Insulin and glucagon are the two hormones that work to keep our blood sugar levels balanced and healthy. But how does it work? Remember what happens when we eat? Food is broken down into glucose. This triggers the pancreas to release the hormone insulin. Insulin helps move the sugar from the blood into the cells that need them, like muscle and brain cells. Over time, this action will help to decrease our blood sugar to a healthy level. Insulin also helps liver, muscle, and fat cells to store any extra glucose from the bloodstream, which keeps it from building up to unhealthy levels. Great! The system even works if your blood sugar levels start to decrease for some reason. If this happens, the pancreas releases glucagon, which comes to the rescue. Glucagon tells the liver to release the glucose it has stored and to make new glucose to be released back into the bloodstream. Ta-da! The glucose is released into our bloodstream and we use it for energy. After that, the cycle starts over again with insulin helping our cells to use glucose and to store any excess. This perfect harmony between insulin and glucagon keeps our bodies happy and healthy. However, sometimes this harmony is disrupted by a disease known as diabetes. There are different kinds of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes occurs when a body's immune system, for some unknown reason, destroys the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. Without any cells to produce insulin, our blood sugar levels increase into a dangerous range. This can be very harmful in the short term and long term. That's why people with type 1 diabetes have to take multiple insulin shots every day to lower the glucose or blood sugar in their bloodstream. If a person with type 1 diabetes has a blood glucose level that is too high for a long time, they may also develop additional serious health problems like poor blood circulation, kidney disease, and even blindness. Although adults can develop type 1 diabetes, it is diagnosed more often in children. That's why it is so important to recognize symptoms of diabetes such as increased thirst and urination in order to get appropriate treatment. For more information about our research to find the triggers and new treatments for chronic diseases such as diabetes, sign up for news about diabetes clinical trials. Thanks for watching from your friends at Pennington Biomedical Research Center.